guys, welcome to Robert Productions. Today we're taking a look at my resistance army for summer of 2020. So before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you know at Lego Room B, I'll pull up an image right now. We do have more of the collection, including another one of these, but I did not include it in that part of the video. I don't know why. It'll be in the Rebellion one for when I do my Rebellion video in two weeks. But in this army, we are only including sets that were battle resistance, even though the B-Wing and the Y-Wing, those variants were used by the resistance in episode 9. But I am going to be including sets that are made specifically for that movie, except for this one, the Tans of IV, and this Falcon, because you need to have a Falcon in the Resistance Army. It's just, it's a necessity. And this does technically represent Episode 9 because of that Falcon Sonar Dish. So without further ado, let's get into the army. Okay guys, starting off with our first main figure, we have Ray from The Force Awakens. Then next to her, on her right side, we have Finn. Now Finn is a nice main figure because it has that nice expression. I like how they change up the expressions like they did with this one over there. I like how they change it up a little bit sometimes, unlike Ray's, who they never change. Then we have Princess Leia, the older version of her, and Luke Skywalker, again, the older version. And the older version of Han Solo would be next to them, except he has a later room B, because he came with the UCS Falcon. Now, looking over here, we have Rose, Kaz, and... When I was watching Resistance, I could remember this George's name, but I can't remember it now. I think it was BB-90, no, it's not BB-90. I don't know, but Bucket, Bucket, there we go. That's the name of that droid, is Bucket. Then moving over here, we have Poe Dameron, is my favorite outfit for him, his flight suit, his amazing helmet. Then we have Chewbacca, Admiral Hodo, Maz Kanata, even though she's kind of bounty hunter, kind of kind of not, but I, I consider her resistance. And then we have C-3PO, R2-D2, and a BB-8. Now I did not include all my C-3PO's, just a few for this army video. Coming our armies and troops, we do have Quite the amount of resistance made figures, even more at layer room B, because I want to make sure if it's going to make a large scale mock, I have a lot of these resistance trooper battle packs. So I got a total of four of these, but there's only two of them here. As you can see, the two speeders are there. There's two more battle packs of those at layer room B, but we will soon see that. So, yeah. Then moving back here, we have four pilots. This one came from the Microfighter Blue X Wing. I'm trying to remember where it is, but I cannot find it anywhere. I don't know where it is, sorry, that's why it's not in this video. Then this one came from Poe X-Wing, and the rest of these three guys came from Resistance Bomber. Now I did try getting Finch Dello, but that was just not possible, and now he goes for crazy amounts of money, so therefore I'm not gonna get him. He's just not that valuable to me. Then moving over here, we have a Poe Dameron, and room for more Resistance fighter pilots in the future. Then over here we have two soldiers that came with the First Order Troop Transporter, and then we have Nub and his older variant of him, which is a really nice character because I have the newer one of, well, not the newer, but the younger version of him as well. So, and then we have Rose, another one. But I put her by the back, almost same to Tantum IV because I just don't like her that much. Then, moving over here, we have Luke Skywalker from the Avon Calendar, another Finn, another Chewbacca, two more C-3PO's, two more Rays, and two more BB-8s and one more Poe Dameron. Looking at this side, we have two more Porgs and some very nice main figure accessories, such as Ray's hat thing that she's like scarf. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of like a scarf slash mask for COVID, as we all know it. I'm just kidding. It's for her to protect her eyes from the desert sands of Jakku. And then we have an extra Poe Dameron's X-Wing helmet from when he was on Jakku with this X-Wing. So let's look at the ships now. The ships up front here, we have the Tantif IV. Now this is one of my favorite Lego sets. It's my four favorite Lego sets. Now I'll leave my list of my top five Lego sets that I personally own in the info card above. Then, moving over here, we have Poe Dameron's X-Wing, the black variant, because the orange one does not look that good, and the Resistance X-Wing. Two of these look really good next to each other. I wanted to try to get another one of these, but it's okay I didn't get another one because I didn't get a, like three first or try first, and I got two of those. So two versus two looks pretty good and it works. Then moving over here, we have some microfiber pro damage x wings one from the Avid Counter and one from the Poly Bag. Then moving over here, we have two more of these resistance true transporter things. We have them for the battle packs. Then we have a Porg at UCS. I'm not sure if it's UCS or Master Builders. You guys can decide. In the comment section below, I would literally put a poll, but YouTube got rid of polls, so, oh well. 
Then, moving up back here, we have the Resistance Bomber. Now, this set was $110 back in the day when I got it, and I loved it a lot. It was a really nice set to own. Then, moving over here, we have the Resistance Truth Transporter, which cost me $23, which was an okay deal for it, but it got a little stain right here, and I can't see to get this out. It's a little unfortunate, but I can easily replace that part. Overall, this is a good set, because it has all the storage space that I can open up, like right here, this can open up, this can open up, this can open up, and this can open up. It's great. It's amazing. It's so much space it has and how compact it is. It's just, I love it. It's a great set. Then moving over here, we have Luke's Hut. Even though that's not part of the Resistance Army. Now, Luke's Hut was an Alex 2, same as the Porg, but I just thought it'd be cool to include since Porgs were in the Millennium Falcon in the last Jedi, and I just thought, why not? You know, I mean, they may have gone back to this and used it as a low Resistance base. Who knows? I'm, they probably didn't though because it's really just a small island. But still, I'm considering it part of this army. Then we have Ray's Jack Speeder. Now you guys did vote on a poll on my Instagram and you guys said it should be included in the army and it should count as resistance. I usually would not count as resistance, so. And then we have the Mini Falcon. So let's see what else we have for this army video. Looking at Legal Facility B's collection, we have the amazing, wonderful UCS Falcon and it's a new like, Force Awakens and The Last Jedi sequence with its little spectrometers like below lights up front right here looking pretty good and then you got some mid down here which we'll look at right now so you got two more battle packs because I need them for crates you got old Han Solo a Poe from the ATM-6 Walker Ray from the ATM-6 Walker a Finn from the UCS Falcon which isn't that exclusive I thought it would be Emerald Emmett two more ports from the Ishtar Falcon, of course. And then we have two of these battle packs, so we have all those figures that come with it. Two more guards, two more of those, two more of those. And I do know where the helmet for this guy is, I just don't have him on right now. And then we got two of these guys from the ATM Six Walker and the Bell that's a defense prick set, which is right here. But I'm not gonna show you all the other stuff with that comes with this set because it is in crate, which I'll show an image of right now. So there's my little crate display. Now we're heading back to layer room A for the finale. Okay guys, that is going to wrap it up for my Resistance Army for summer of 2020. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And maybe turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss the next Army video next Friday. Next Friday, we'll be having the Bounty Hunting and Scum and Villainy Army video. And then after that, we will be having the Grand Army of the Rebellion, one of my favorite armies to set up. So, I hope to see you all then. Peace out. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you then. Peace.